yeah, we're, we're playing this again. For you, it wasn't that long. For us, it was like an entire date month. Ages ago. <laughs> an entire yeah. date month ago. I feel, I feel like I've aged a century or more yeah. <laughs> since we last played this. Yeah. I've grown two beards. What I'm saying is date month really took it out of me. Yeah. And then put it back <laughs> into me. And it took it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and kept repeating. <laughs> yeah, rinse, repeat. <laughs> All right. So as we last left ourselves, yeah, we we had just learned that we uh, we had uh, a guilty uh, cat lady, yeah, um, found not guilty of a crime do. that she totally committed. Yeah, specifically the crime of murder. Murder most foul. Murder most yeah, bird like. Be reasonable, senors. I am sure that this is just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> There is no misunderstanding. I am the name of, in the name of the king. Arrest that Spaniard. Oh. Is that as a human? Oh, I forgot they have human arms. <laughs> yeah. Fox among wolves. All right. I knew Falcon wouldn't feel like turning up to the office on Friday. I don't remember the voice I did. That, that's the one. Okay, good. <laughs> But now it's midday on Monday, and there's still no sign of him. This is becoming a little concerning. So what should we do? Uh, we should we should wait around. Uh, he's he's probably he's probably just jacking it. He's probably been jacking it since last Friday. Well, I mean, he's a bird, so yeah. I mean, it breaks off every season, so it might, it might be season for jacking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird facts. What am I saying? <laughs> Falcon's a big bird. He can handle himself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> now keep waiting. Keep waiting. <laughs> see, see how long they'll let you wait. What am I saying? Oh no, you have to. You have to go. Fuck, right, fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they just, this is an illusion of choice. I should probably go find him. His home would be a good place to start. But the bird brain never, <laughs> never gave me his his address. Yeah. 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 I'll, ha I'll just have to find him the hard way, then. With this gigantic magnet I put in his pocket. <laughs> Alright, so I can... So uh, there's the conciergerie. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's... Uh, that was the conciergerie, but that was where the, the lion guy... No, no. That, the, con the conciergerie is the prison. Okay. Yeah. And then the Chateau uh, Cunier. Yeah, that's the lion's that's house. The lion's house and the office. We got that our, guy our arrested, offices, right? Yeah. Yep. The the Alcoholics AVR Anonymous attorney. offices. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Alcoholics then, uh, Anonymous. And up, I I check out at the prison because like I don't yeah, know, you know maybe they've got his information or something. I, I mean, don't know. Well, I mean, like sure. after the end of the last thing, like that would make sense for. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to them. I think this is a good idea to go. Excuse me, Monsieur. I am looking for my friend. I don't remember what he was, so I'm just p picking a new one. Do I look like a lost and found here? Buzz off, bird brain! Alright then! I'll kill you! <laughs> oh, he's. Okay. Bruce. That, that narrows it down. Um, let's go to the chateau. That chateau. Yeah. Chateau. Go to the shitto crinnery. Yeah, shitty crinny. Yeah, the shitty cream. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Duhart! Mademoiselle uh, down Dupast. here. Oh, there you all. It's I don't I don't remember any of these voices. I don't remember. Oh no, she 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 was secretly a fucking oh, soccer yeah, again. Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> right, fucking British maid. Oh, there you are. It's Barrelson, right? <laughs> That's right. I heard about the case you were involved in. <laughs> I never would have thought that the Baron was a murderer. He always treated me with the utmost respect. Yeah. Utmost. But then, I suppose it makes sense that the most ruthless killers are the ones who can put up the best facade. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, how's your friend doing? He seemed a little down last night. Everyone seems down to you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, you see him? Yes, he was brewing in the corner of Le Canard Joyo. I'm going with that. Uh, <laughs> Rumbling and means. drinking. It was a little depressing, to be perfectly honest. 
La Canard je, Joyeux. That's the D, the D student bar on, on Rue Jean. What, John, John, uh, Juan, it's on, it's on Rue Jane, right? It's on Rue Jaune. It's not dingy, it's just a little rustic is all. In any case, that's an enormous help. Thanks, mademoiselle. Any time, Sparrowson. Next time you come around, <laughs> we can fall each other's cocks. <laughs> Let's play Secret Penis. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the high court real quick. Just just to just to see what happens or Yeah, that seems like the uh, yeah. yeah. Just to yeah. uh, just to do it. Oh yeah, that ass. Oh. No sign of Falcon here. Excuse me, Rupert. Oh, yeah, it's you, the uh, first year grab it. Hey! I did not drop out! It was for I was forcibly ejected. Casperson's <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that doesn't matter right now. I'm looking for Falcon. <clears throat> Have you seen him? Falcon, the guy who uh, somehow blundered his way through the Catalan trial with the help of some uh, very dubious evidence. No, I haven't seen him since the um, trial. Oh well, thanks anyway. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. Fuck. <laughs> Piece of shit says what? <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> is that a crocodile? What is that? I think that's it's a bird of some kind. I think that's like a like a like a, yeah like oh, one of those crazy. Birds. That's a, two, that's Could two, be a, or a booby. A booby. It, it looks like it's a booby. booby. Yeah, it's a booby. <laughs> oh, booby. Booby beavers. Uh, Sparrows and steps <laughs> through the doors of Lake Anarjoyo, the dingiest student tavern in all of Pelly. His nostrils fill with the pungent aroma of sour wine and bitter tobacco. Why would you have those two things? Uh, well, rough on my feathers, if it isn't little Sparrowson. I've seen you in years. How are you doing, honey? I'm feeling pretty good, ma Madame Qualine. Quan Quanel. Quanel? Quanel, sorry. Madame Quanel, thanks for asking. I'm actually here to find a friend. He's a big guy named J.J. Falcon. Falcon? Yeah, if that sour lump has been here all weekend. He's just been moaning and muttering to himself all weekend. Frankly, he's bringing the whole atmosphere down. I'll take care of him. Thanks, Madame Cornell. You gotta sound like you're from Savannah. It's like <laughs> molasses <laughs> falling out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem, huh? He's probably still in the corner of the drinking room upstairs. <laughs> I've totally stole that from the office. Uh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. Oh, okay. Um, he's been Check the a lot. card room first because he's in the drinking room. Yeah, just yeah. to just so to see, see all you can see. see other options are yeah. before you go there. <laughs> America sheds a tear. <laughs> <laughs> Here to play some Jacques Noir. Or are you Monsieur? Monsieur? I don't know what voice I'm even trying. <laughs> Not right now. I'm looking for my friend, JJ Falcon. The big drunk fellow. I think I spotted him downstairs. But I'm gonna take a bite out of crime. <laughs> I broke the tongue dog. Oh, thank you. Hmm. 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 No sign of me. <laughs> Mon Dieu! I almost stepped on a on the big fellow. Huh? Falcon? What are you doing on the floor? S hey, Falcon! Wake up! Wow, the bird's completely out. I. Uh, he must have he must have drunk this place dry. Let's see. How do you wake the wake a drunk person? Pee on their face. What what, what you want to do? Uh, I'm going to kick him. Yeah, that'd probably work. Nope, nothing. Tiny <laughs> bird legs. All right. Uh, uh, let's yell at him. Good morning, Falcon. 
fucking family! Nothing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I guess it's time for a rude awakening. Wakey wakey, it's my bird bee. <laughs> Oh, oh, good, you're up. Are, are you with us, Falcon? Yeah. Feeling sober, we should probably head back to the aviary office so we can get, uh, we can get some work done. I, I don't understand it, Sparrowson. Huh? I thought I did everything right. Followed all the procedures. I found all the evidence. I presented the case beautifully. And yet, a guilty feline walks free while an innocent man sits in custody. What went wrong? Where's the justice? Uh, I'm gonna say... Uh, so let's try harder, I guess. That's probably is the right one to say. Maybe we need to... Try harder! Try harder. I don't know if we messed up, or if the si or if the system messed up. Or what. But yeah. <laughs> but just uh, just have to do our best. I'm like so tongue-tied. Yeah, it's all best as lawyers, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe if we work hard enough, we can stop mess-ups from happening ever again. <laughs> Sorry, Falcon. I don't have the answers. But what I do have is a freshly baked croissants from P Pierre's Boulangerie. 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 It's like bologna that she wears to bed. Croissants. Before you fuck yep. They're waiting for you back at the aviary. I'm sitting here moping about justice and you offer me croissants. Well, it's not just croissants. I, get, I got some... Pains au chocolat, too. <laughs> so much French. I could go for some chocolat. Fantastic. Shout outs to the French. <laughs> what the fuck did you guys do to your language? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was taking best. French class, like, they, uh, they asked why things were like that in French. Like, why is it like this? And, like, the answer was always, because Charles de Gaulle said so. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, ah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, I admit it. These croissants are amazing. I told you, Pit. Pierre's boulangerie on, on Rue Verde. <laughs> Rue Verde. Rue Verde. Is something else. Oh, that reminds me. The baker told me something interesting. Do you know what they call uh, Payne's Eau de Chocolat in America? <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh my god. They don't call them Payne's Eau Chocolat? Payne's Eau Chocolat? Nope. Pronunciation difficulties. American is a whole nother language. So what do they call them? Chocolate croissants. <laughs> For God's sakes. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a tiny man! Um, um no, wait. And we can see their legs, oh my god. <laughs> uh, hello! <laughs> Chocolate croissant. What do they call profiterole? <laughs> profiterole. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. It's profit rolls, come on, man. <laughs> oh, profit I think rolls. That, that, okay. Those are still pro <laughs> profiteroles. <laughs> But rather than custard, they they fill them with ice cream and smother them in, in melted chocolate. Simply outstanding. Is this the aviary attorney? Can I speak to someone, please? Fried rice and chicken, would it be nummy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what would. do they call crepes? Excuse me! Hello! <laughs> Just, Did you yeah, so. just hear something, Sparrowson? <laughs> Down here. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you, little one? Ah, uh, oh gosh. Where to start? Your name, perhaps, sorry. Mousy. My name is Mousy. 
And what can we do for you, Monsieur Mousy? I have this friend, and he has fallen under some legal turbulence. Legal turbulence? You mean he's been arrested? Uh, yes, I suppose so. They're saying he's a murderer, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it! That's quite a problem. Come on. I know! Oh, but I forgot to mention, he's the Prince of Spain. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well. <laughs> Well, you definitely falls under that oh, jurisdiction. Hey, yeah. Mouse walks into a fucking like, like a falcon's house and tells him that like the prince of Spain needs help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like a chain letter shit. Yeah, right. the prince of Spain, and you didn't think it was worth mentioning from the start? I forgot. I forgot. I must ask, Mousy, why'd you come to us? I would have thought that the Spanish royal family would hire legal counsel with a little more. Not terribleness? <laughs> Expertise. Oh. Ah, the <laughs> prince has great faith in your lawyering skills, Monsieur Falcon. He said that your reputation as a lawyer is renowned. It's hurting so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? The prince said that? <laughs> this is a great opportunity, Falcon. Surely you wouldn't deny a request from the prince of Spain. We'll take the case. We'll take the case. Of course case. we'll take the case. Grab your coat, Sparrison. We have royalty to defend. That's the spirit! Good luck to you, monsieurs. You aren't coming with us, Mousy? I have, um... I have other matters to attend to. But Prince Swan is being held at the conciergerie. I'm sure you will fill... Yeah, fill in all the details. Right, let's make a move then. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Good day, Monsieur. How is you two again? No, no, that's too loud! No, that's perfect. Dude, not to do that one for that guy. <laughs> the... Hey, nice work on Lady Kitten's trial. Better work yell is pacing around a cell right now, ranging about wringing your neck! Makes sense. <laughs> I would be too. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised. He's super mad, but hey, a criminal's a criminal, right? If the lion didn't want a death sentence, he probably should have killed the guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not here to defend him, are you? Because that would be hilarious. We're actually here to see Prince Juan Querido. 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 Heir to the throne of Spain. The mouthy fox, huh? The guy's driving me nuts with his seniors and his flamboyant attitude. I say the sooner he hangs, the better. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Well, come on, then. While we're young. Damn. <laughs> yeah. The Prince of Spain, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I am Juan Querid. I am a Juan Carrido. There you go, that's it. Heir to the throne of España. And you must be the legendary lawyer, Senor J.J. Falcon. And you guys can't see this, but I'm talking with my hands because I need to. Yeah. To do <laughs> yeah. this right. Yeah. Uh, you, got, you gotta. Well, I wouldn't say legendary. I wouldn't even say notable. <laughs> <laughs> such humility. I would expect nothing less from renowned individuals such as yourselves. But let us get down to business. I trust that my compañero Mousy explained the situation. He told us that you've been accused of murder, but we need some further details before we can start our investigation. Ah, of course! What is it that you wanted to know? Tell us about murder. To be honest, Prince Han, I'm a little confused as to how a member of royalty could get in such so much trouble. Could you walk us through the activities in the day of the murder? Of course. 
No, let's, let me let me get it. And you go on Toyo, you kill my father for half a day. Of course! Let me, let me see where to begin. <laughs> it was a cold and misty morning of the 6th of January. I had heard that the King Louis uh, King Louis Philippe was unveiling a new painting at the Pels, Pels de Louvre, and I wished to meet the man himself. So after a brief stroll picnic in Tulier's garden, I entered the place. I found the royal entourage in the Louvre's Grand Gallery. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, what, was, what, was the, what was the guy from Resident Evil 4? Uh, uh, Luis. Yeah, yeah Luis. that's, that's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, Him yeah. and Inigo Montorio, some sort of thing. Uh, when I saw an opportunity, I presented a humble gift to the king. A rose, an international symbol of passion and virtue. How romantic! But before the king could take it, a rather rude person snatched it from my fingers. It was a royal guard, the dog by the name of Major Howell. Major Howell. Ouch, cried Major Howell. I pricked myself upon the thorns of this dastardly flower. And then the major slumped to the floor. His face turned blue, his mouth frothed, and he died. Oh, okay, so there's some poison on the on He the died flower. straight away after being pricked. Straight away, senor. It's obvious that he pricked the prick the finger was a cause of death, but I didn't know of any poison that acts so fast. Nor do I, Senor Falcon, but clearly the police felt that poison upon the rose's thorns was only a logic was the only logical explanation. And with so many witnesses, even the king himself, what could I say to defend myself? Where did this rose come from? I acquired it from a beautiful Parisian flower seller at Les High Le Rahons. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm struggling a lot with the French today. <laughs> so I'm just making, like, racist noises. <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm just filling it out with that. A girl by the name of Catherine Marie Sing. I'm trying to think of what animal pun this is. Sing? I think it's just Sing. Sing. Si right? Ma sing? Catherine oh, Marie Sing. Yes. Marie Sing. Where is uh, I don't know. We'll find out. But surely you're not suggesting that the flower girl applied the poison herself, Senor Falcon. Well, I'm not making any accusations yet. I'm just planning to explore every line of inquiry. Poison rose okay. has been added to your evidence. Oh shit, don't touch that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you want to ask something else, Senor Falcon? Now we're going into Cheech. Yeah, just <laughs> slowly <laughs> devolving into Cheech. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come to Paris, Prince Juan? Paris, Prince Juan. I was on a diplomatic Damn mission. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know whether you are familiar with current events, but you may have heard that my country is in a state of turmoil. <laughs> this go from suave and just like, wow, I drank bong water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The candles for the Spanish throne are slandering, plotting, backstabbing, and it's chaos, and the people are suffering. So I thought, if I can befriend some French royalty, perhaps even the king himself, maybe I can strengthen my family's name. With the Querido dynasty restored, I can have a chance at bringing peace to my beautiful nation. Well, I guess the plan's gone out the window, and so am I. Sparrowson, don't be rude. <laughs> no, he is right. I have failed terribly. Don't, f don't fret, Prince One. We'll do everything in our power to clear your name. Maybe once the dust is settled, you'll have another opportunity to speak with King Louis Philippe to complete your mission. Thank you, Senor Falcon. I'm sure, I'm sure you will do your best. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? What were you reading? What were you reading before we so rudely interrupted? Ah, this book is a Spanish classic. <laughs> this book? <laughs> this book? <laughs> Don Quixote de la Mancha. <laughs> do you know it? <laughs> Readings for squares. <laughs> I'll say I've heard of it, which is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of it. It's about the knight who jousts windmills, right? That actually is, yeah. That's one part of the story, yes. The hero is a virtuous but elderly knight by the name of Don Quixote. In the chapter you mentioned, he takes up arms against an army of giants who are terrorizing a town. Don Quixote's partner, Sancho, warns him of that the giants are just windmills and their flailing arms are just sails twirling in the wind. But Quixote doesn't listen. He takes up his lance, gets on his horse, and charges anyway. <laughs> Sounds more like dumb Quixote! Am I right, Falcon? 
Perhaps he is dumb, Senor Sparrowson. Because <laughs> everyone ignores. <laughs> but many of us spend our whole lives jousting imaginary giants. Speak for yourself, Juan! I've never been jousting, let alone seen a giant! I think we're getting off track here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I'll tell you what, Senor Falcon. I'll lend you my copy of this book. Book. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to accent falls apart entirely on the word book. <laughs> and they have to say it a lot. <laughs> I, I, it's, you see, what I'm doing is there's a song in the Book of Mormon where the Africans are singing book and I just, like, use that. <laughs> Maybe you'll have time to give it a read at some point. I would like to share with you the most amazing book. <laughs> Maybe I will. Thank you.